They already knew that they had a, uh, a flight lined up on Sunday. They already knew that they could refuse the fresh claim on Saturday, giving no chance for a legal challenge. So it's a cynical way of trying to reduce the numbers of foreigners here. She's a lovely lady, she's really trying hard to learn English at the age of 62, which is not easy. She's originally from Eritrea. She was a refugee when Ethiopia and Eritrea had the war um, and was a UN refugee. She then got a job with um, an Asian family uh, as you know, a house servant. And when they went to England, they got her a passport, an Ethiopian passport. After a year or two, she then had an accident and this family callously just left her on the street. So she was forced to claim asylum. She had nothing else she could do. We know that she's not done anything wrong by coming here, she's not committed any crime, she's been treated horribly. They are not um, obeying the 1951 convention, refugee convention, and we want Lem Lem back in Sheffield. I'm Sultan from Iraq and the first time I came, I saw like this thing in the TV and now it is a life thing for me. All of us from different backgrounds, religions and ethnicity, we are here just for Lam Lam. Please, please support Lam Lam. My name is Bernard. I've been in the same situation like Lam Lam two weeks ago. I've been in detention. I hope everyone come and uh, help Lam Lam to get out of this situation. It doesn't seem to be anything legal or logical even to treat a 60-year-old disabled lady in this way. Wrong. 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 That's it.